So this series is going to be based on our Etsy store, Reed's Family Crafted. Um, so it's what's called a studio vlog, I think. Um, so I'm in my office. Um, it will be me creating all different bits and pieces to go on the Etsy store, showing you how I do them, showing you the process, showing you the packaging. Um, just like something a bit different. Um, hopefully this will get a bit more exposure to our Etsy store. Um, there's loads more I want to add on there and loads more I want to do. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Lisa, one half of Reese Family Adventures. And as I say, I wanted to keep it all under the same umbrella of Reese Family. So this is why it's on our YouTube channel as well. On these videos, you'll pretty much just see me. Um, it's not really Simon's cup of tea. He doesn't really do anything. I've got a graphic design background. Um, I also obviously used to have a photography business, now I've got my cake business, so there's an artistic flair there somewhere. Um, and obviously because of the photography background, I know how to use Photoshop. I've got an iPad with Procreate on it so I can design stuff. Um, so yeah, it's going to be mainly Disney inspired things, but I obviously want to put some other bits out there as well. If there's anything you guys want to see in the shop or want to see designed, then do please let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can do. I thought I'd show you um, my workspaces. So I have two workspaces. Obviously, this is the office. and um, This is what uh, one of the third bedrooms um, we transferred into an office for me. So this is where I do all the computer work. I do all the printing and stuff. So you can see my desk area. Um, this is just an Ikea desk and chair. I've got a label printer that prints out all my postage labels. I've got my laptop and I've got my iPad. Uh, my iPad, I do a lot of stuff on it, on it because it's got Procreate, Photoshop. Um, I do all my editing for the vlogs on it as well. Um, so it's really, really handy. Then we come over to here and I've got an Epson EcoTank 7700. Um, these are supposed to be friendlier for the environment. And as you can see, you fill up the tanks there with the ink um, and the bottles. So it's supposed to be a lot better. This is what I print all my stickers on, all my stuff in my Cricut. And then obviously it sits on a little storage unit that's got all my papers in. And then we come over to here and uh, you can see my Cricut. Um, I love the mint green Cricut, it's really, really pretty. And then this holds all my um, jiffy bags and my boxes and all that kind of thing. So that's quite handy. Um, it's a bit of a mess, does need tidying up. And then I have another printer over here, which uh, does like all the paperwork and stuff where I print off the all the paperwork from Etsy. So yeah, so this is one part of uh, my workroom. As I said, excuse the mess because it does need tidying up. And then this is my other workspace, the kitchen table. <laughs> I would love a dedicated space for doing everything together. But again, we don't have the space in our house and obviously I don't have the money to rent a unit. So yeah, we have to make do what we've got. So kitchen table, I mean, the sewing machine goes in a bag at night, <laughs> clears the table down. Um, I keep all my fabrics and everything in these under bed storage units. So all my fabric goes in there. I've got a little wooden sewing box that's got all my threads and everything in. I've had this for absolutely years. Um, my mum bought it for me when I was still at home, I think. So yeah, absolutely years. Um, and then, yeah, I just uh, work off the table um, and then put everything about away at night. So the, um, the ironing board and my ring light stands there as well. So yeah, it works for me at the moment. Hopefully, you know, some more time down the line, I might be able to rent an actual space. But for the moment, this works well for me. The sewing machine that I use is a Singer Confidence. Um, my mum brought me this for Christmas one year, and I absolutely love it. It's uh, very simple to use, although threading that tiny, tiny needle hole is getting worse as I get older. <laughs> um, must be the eyesight going. So yeah, this is really, really, really good. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm going to be next Friday, I'm going to be having a big scrunchy launch, with loads of different designs. Um, and I also want to get some more face pads, uh, reusable face wipes made. Um, I've got an order for some bigger ones for kitchen cleaning as well. So I've got to get those made. Um, but I've got some really cute Lady in the Tramp fabric, which I'm going to make some uh, scrunchies and some face pads out of. Again, Mary Poppins. I'm going to do the same with those scrunchies and face pads. And then I've got this over here, which um, probably scrunchies. Um, I really like this stuff because it's very... Uh, Epcot-esque. Um, yeah, so that is today's plan. The mat I use to cut out all my fabric is called a self-healing mat. 
you can get these from Hobbycraft, Amazon, that kind of thing, but you cut on it and obviously it heals itself and doesn't show the cut. Um, and I use lots of these acrylic um, rulers. I've got a big one uh, that goes all the way down to 23 inches. I've also got a square one and I use a rotary cutter to cut the fabric because I find it's a lot easier and quicker than using scissors. So I've finished all the cutting, I've cut out all these strips um, for the scrunchies. Lots and lots and lots. And then I've got another load down here, which are going to be for the face wipes. morning so it's thursday the 25th of march um it's pretty much an admin day for me today i've got lots and lots of scrunchies to add to etsy let me just set to Lula out yeah i've got lots and lots of scrunchies to add to etsy ready for tomorrow's launch um hoping to get it all done i think there's about 30 different scrunchie designs i've got to upload um so there's gonna be lots of choice for you guys um hoping this vlog's gonna go out tomorrow morning um so you'll be able to see it in time for the launch at Hubbard's Five tomorrow afternoon. So yeah, it's very, very exciting. Just had a couple of new deliveries and they feel like materials. So I thought I'd open them and show you what they are. <laughs> this is cute. So this is little rainbows really like that really really pretty so i'm gonna make some scrunchies and some face wipes with that now this one is from my favorite company so we have got some disney characters We've got Ursula. I really love this when I saw this. We have Up. Up is one of my most favourites. Um, we have Beauty and the Beast, the glass window. And we have a stitch, although stitch is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was a smaller one like it was before, but that's fine. We can still use it. So, yeah another good stash of materials good morning it's friday the 26th of march and that can mean only one thing it's scrunchy release launch yay um thank you for everybody who supported all my instagram posts and have uh, shared them on their stories and stuff really appreciate it so today's jobs i've got some orders i've got to post out for etsy um i've got to finish uploading the rest of the scrunchies so far i've got about 24 designs um i think there's probably another 10 to go if i get them all up and ready i will if i don't then there's plenty there for you guys to choose from um once that's all launched i can sit back have a drink and relax so let's get on with packing these orders
that's all my packages all done ready to go um i use royal mail's click and drop so basically i print all my postage online i print it off on my printer over here and um, this little one i got from ebay and literally drop the uk ones i drop in the post box or i take to the sorting office because sorting office is literally 10 minutes down the road from me um and the international ones i take to the post office and always get them to do the postage just in case um it always worries me just in case i do that one wrong I think I'll leave the studio vlog there for now. Um, I know it's something different. I know it's not going to appeal to everybody, but I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet into the behind the scenes of my craft business and what goes on and stuff. Um, if it's something you'd like to see regularly, um, do let me know and I can continue them on. I am now going to sort out the rest of the scrunchies for later on today. And that's pretty much it for me today. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon. I need a pot of gold.